one likes a cheater, especially in the Scrabble National Championships. Yesterday, we told you about a 13-year-old competitor who was kicked out for cheating. Yeah, organizers don't think it's the first time either. Last year, other kids say they thought that he was cheating and they tried to catch him, but they couldn't prove it until this year. The question is, what makes a kid cheat and how can you make sure that your kids are not a cheater? Joining us now on Good Day is registered mental health counselor, Jada Collins. Jada, always good to see you. Thanks for coming Thanks, in. John. Okay, so cheating's been around forever. Mm -hmm. Why are kids cheating more, it seems like, these days than ever? Or are they cheating more? Well, research su suggests that the reason that they're cheating more is for, for extrinsic motivation, which means either parents are really pressuring them to succeed, and maybe not just in Scrabble, but maybe in school, maybe in sports and other areas as well. But within this context, it's oftentimes stress and pressure to succeed. So it could be as simple as mom or dad saying, hey, you better win this game. We see it all the time mm -hmm. in sports. Mm -hmm. Kids tripping kids in soccer, mm -hmm. you know, doing things in football. So it is coming from the parents. It is. And if you look at our culture, what does our culture say? Win at all cost. You know, do whatever you have to do to succeed and do whatever you have to do to win. So that's not a very good message that we're sending. And one of the things I tell my parents is one of the things you want to do is make sure that you actually model for your kids good behavior. So it's not what you say, it's what you do. Kids pick that up, huh? Kids pick that up. And adolescents nowadays, one, one of the things that they're saying is, we can spot hypocrisy a mile away. The kids say the that. kids say wow. that. Mom's not doing it. Mom, she's saying it with her, with her mouth, but she's not actually doing it. Or I can't stand someone who says, do X, Y, and Z, and they're not doing it themselves. So as an adolescent, they can spot that pretty quickly. That's interesting. So you think kids can't pick up on that, but mom calls yeah. in for a sick day. Dad calls in for a sick day. They're exactly. not sick. Cheat on the taxes. Kids mm -hmm. pick this stuff exactly. up. Exactly. Wow, interesting stuff. Jada, always good to see you. Thanks so much for your time. Hello, I'm Jada Jackson, licensed mental health counselor, and I believe that life change begins with a healthy relationship between the counselor and the client. Now, at our private counseling firm, we believe in creating a very safe and protective environment for our clients. Now, although I'm a licensed mental health counselor, dealing with very complicated issues that include anxiety, depression, grief, trauma and sexual abuse. I'm also a life coach and that means I deal with very common life transitional issues and career development challenges. Now counseling is not an admission for weakness or failure. It's a bold statement of power and security and strength. And I want to help you develop a healthy treatment plan and strategy so that you can achieve your ultimate success in life. Remember, your journey for success starts now. Stay tuned for ways that you can contact me today.